Hey everybody, this is Praxis. First off, I want to let you know that in this video, I'm going to begin here on my channel trying to dance around the little landmine uh, land words that we aren't supposed to uh, use here. Uh, apparently, there are taboo topics here on YouTube. I, I, by apparently, I mean there definitely are. And uh, I guess by avoiding using certain words, uh, I can avoid having my channel get flagged as one that is dealing in uh, information of the miss variety. Uh, in the past, I have uh, been uh, just kind of open about what I speak about, and I want to continue to be open about the topics that I'm talking about. But I am going to I'm going to try to do the coding thing. I think it's stupid. I, I think it's um, I think it's stupid is, is the best way to put it. Uh, you know, uh, I should say, you know, uh, to my credit, uh, all the the uh, information of a miss variety that I have shared here on my channel that got my channel flagged all turned out to be uh, well, none of it turned out to be inaccurate, and it's generally all pretty much common knowledge at this point. You know, back then it was very unpopular, it got my channel flagged, and my viewership is down to about one twentieth of it was of what it was prior. I guess I, to some degree I wear that as a bit of a badge of honor because I just kept saying it how I felt it was, and as it turned out I was 100% right about everything, uh, and uh, you know, I feel good about that, but still, you know, if the information isn't getting out to people, it's not getting out to people, and uh, you know, I feel like what I do here is helpful. I, you know, I'm sharing things that work for me that have made my life better. And you know, if I can get that out to 20 times more people by just being a little bit coded and uh, cagey about the way that I phrase things, I guess I'm going to try to start doing that as we move into kind of the next thing that is going to start getting people's channels flagged, which are the events that are fold, uh, unfolding in the world in a land that begins with the letter U that is somewhere situated between Europe and Asia. Hopefully the, none of those are buzzwords uh, that are going to get the channel flag. So we're going to be kind of talking in those sorts of um, uh, ways today, and I apologize for it. It's a lot faster to just say thing, uh, describe things as what they are. But if the, that means that the information just gets buried and uh, people try to keep it from getting out to people, I guess what good does it do, do anybody? So anyway, what's the topic of this video? Well, I've hinted at it by the way that I started this video. Uh, you know, normally on my channel uh, I would start with like kind of a little... Uh, an opening animation which I'll play and it'll play it'll display the title of what the video is going to be uh, sometimes I'll do like a, a comedy sketch although I ha haven't done a lot of those le recently because I've been just kind of busy and being busy uh, kind of also ties into the topic of what this video is going to be about um, I've seen a lot of other youtubers kind of kind of uh, downgrade their production quality uh, to the point where they're just sort of flipping on a camera talking you know no cutaway no imagery or anything like that and then flipping the camera off and they've been sharing a lot of good information uh, at least a lot of the people that I follow. Uh, one in particular is Canadian Prepper. I know he's just been doing a lot of things. He'll just sit down in his office, you know, pop the, I don't know what, it, what he's using. It seems to have some kind of a timer on it because he always seems to have some kind of a time limit going on. Uh, and he'll just talk and then he'll flip the thing off. Also, Brad at Full Spectrum Survival has been doing that for a while where you know, he just, uh, you know, there's no opening, there's no anything. He just kind of, you know, uh, d delivers information to people and, uh, you know, and, and shares in that way. And I find both of those channels really uh, useful and helpful. There's other ones as well, but I, those in particular, I've noticed, uh, really had a, had a change from going from a higher production value to just kind of getting the information out there. Uh, another thing that's uh, similar between those two channels is the host of both of those channels have kind of been ill lately. Uh, I know a, a Canadian prepper, he's been uh, dealing with, I'm not sure exactly what he's uh, had. I know that uh, Brad at Full Spectrum Survival just recently said that he got the uh, uh, that communicable thing that goes around which you inhale that starts with the letter C. He, uh, he fell ill from that and um, and that's kind of what I want to talk about in this uh, in this video uh, is uh, you know people being kind of busy, people being uh, you know uh, to press for time, and uh, you know in the past couple of weeks a lot of preppers falling ill. Uh, here at our uh, here at our place we've been uh, really uh, really successful, and I don't mean to it myself as a comparison to these other people. It's like oh I'm doing it right and these guys are doing it wrong or whatever. Um, but uh, you know I, I should mention that here at our place since that uh, communicable and inhalable thing that you could get that would multiply in your body with deleterious effects. It starts with the letter C. Since that started going around uh, three years ago, uh, we started taking uh, certain types of precautions. Uh, they did not include uh, uh, needles which you stick into your arm and pump uh, material into your body to try to uh, 
you know, help solve the problem that way. They did not include that, but they included a lot of other things. And we've been 100% successful at avoiding not just the thing that begins with the letter C, but all sorts of other colds and flus. I think those words are still uh, safe here on the channel. Uh, although we've got the, the new bird stuff coming around, but I don't, I don't know if they're flagging against that at the moment. Uh, but all sorts of other colds and flus. We've had a hundred percent, we've been a hundred percent clear of all that kind of stuff for the past three years. So what we've been doing is working pretty well. And it hasn't just been uh, things related to, um, oh God, it's so hard to, it's so hard to talk when you can't talk. Things that you put over your face that start with a letter N and then are followed by a number, often a 95 or a 100. <laughs> Um, you know, we've been doing that. Uh, you know, we've just been trying to, you know, avoid mixing uh, with people, you know, in settings that tend to uh, have a lot of breathing and uh, consp uh, conspiring. Uh, conspiring is actually an interesting word. Conspiring uh, literally means uh, to, uh, to breathe with other people, you know, uh, respiration. Spire, uh, conspire, spy, uh, res uh, breathing with other people in a close environment. So we've been trying to avoid conspiring with other people to uh, to share. Oh God, I just threw the word conspiracy into this video that I'm trying to avoid getting flagged, didn't I? All right, so you know we've been trying, uh, you know, lots of different techniques, and they've all worked really well. We've also been trying to avoid, uh, you know, losing sleep, uh, and that that is one of the things that I think is a lot of, is difficult for a lot of people because even people that are, um, you know, have been into prep and preparedness for a long time, the idea of stress can be a real thing. Now, for, for us here, I feel like, um, you know, comparing myself with other people that are here uh, in the YouTube prepping uh, community, uh, you know, while my channel is pretty small, what we got going here, I think, is much more advanced than what most people have. I mean, there is a, a, a shelter of the falling out variety behind me uh, that, uh, you know, we kind of finished uh, building over the last few years. That's something a lot, not a lot of people have. We've got, you know, tons of food stockpiles. You know, we're doing pretty well here. And the result of that is that we haven't really, or I haven't really felt a great deal of stress related to all of these things happening in the land that begins with the letter U, uh, you know, uh, off between Asia and Europe because, you know, we have, we've taken care of a lot of this stuff and we've checked off a lot of boxes. But I know a lot of, a lot of people aren't really, uh, you know, to this level yet. And I imagine there's a lot of stress going around. And it's really important not to let that stress get, uh, get you to a point where, uh, you know, it is bringing down your immune system. Now, that, now, all that said, at the present moment in time, it's actually probably a pretty good time to get sick. Uh, you know, in my personal opinion, I know, again, with that thing going around that begins with the letter C, you know, I, I've uh, given a lot of thought to it because, uh, you know, like I said, we've uh, completely avoided it for the past uh, uh, three years. Uh, it was never my... It was never my vision that we would be able to completely avoid it forever. It was always my sense that we wanted to avoid it long enough so that uh, hospitals weren't in a situation where if we got it and we were one of the people that had a really bad reaction to it, that the hospitals couldn't, um, you know, couldn't accommodate us. Because that was what was going on at the beginning is that they were, you know, filling up and they just, you know, didn't have the, over, uh, the, uh, the extra capacity for all the, the additional people. So it was always my thinking that we're going to take these precautions. They're going to, you know, delay things and we're going to let other people kind of go through that meat grinder. And, uh, you know, and then in the future, once uh, things aren't so tight, then we can relax our guard a little bit, knowing that, you know, the, the, uh, the hospital... <laughs> I'm, I almost didn't want to say the word hospital because I'm like, oh, is that a buzzword? It's really difficult to talk in this way. But, you know, we were thinking, you know, eventually, you know, this is something you're not going to be able to avoid forever. And I've actually been sort of surprised we've been able to avoid, avoid it as long as we have. Um, but uh, it was my sense eventually we would kind of get to a point where we would get it. And, um, you know, and that's where you get your, um, you can't say that word, uh, I M M U N I T Y of a natural variety. <laughs> there we go. It's like that. It's like YouTube's like a, like a three-year-old, and you can't say the word candy around them. That's a good way of doing it. Um, so I, you know, I figured that we would eventually go that way. And and here we are at this moment where uh, you know the hospitals are in a better position, and this. To some degree, for me, for me personally, it feels like this would be the time to do that. Now, I, I'm only speaking for myself personally. I'm in very good physical health. I'm not particularly old or whatever. People in, uh, who have different uh, health situations would definitely need to make different um, calculations on all of this. But for us personally, I, I think that right now it would not really be a particularly bad time to... Uh, contract this thing that begins with C because we would be able to, you know, kind of get it through our system uh, ahead of what I see is coming. I, what I think we're in right now is kind of a lull between two storms. We just had the storm that uh, is kind of fizzling out with, you know, that uh, has the 
the thing that begins with C, and we're headed towards the storm that uh, is centered around the thing that begins with U. Uh, we're in this kind of quiet period, and it feels like this would actually be kind of a good time to kind of get this and get it go going through your system, because you don't want to be hit with a lot of health issues when you're in the middle of an emergency. Uh, you know, I'm just throwing that out there, that that is something that's kind of going through my mind at this point. Uh, it's not like I'm doing uh, parties where I'm trying to actively get it. I don't like getting sick. I hate it. I deal with it really poorly. I just lie on the ground uh, or on the floor for like, you know, 24 hours or whatever that it takes <laughs> to, to, get, to get through the thing. And I'm just like, oh, this is awful. I just, I feel like I'm going to die. Um, so I'm not wishing that on myself, but logically I'm thinking in my brain, it's like, you know, maybe this is the time to do it as opposed to, you know, if you're eventually going to get that, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to have that happening uh, when things with the place that begins with the letter U really start to heat up and, you know, you got a bunch of other things you need to deal with. Um, but the larger point of this entire video is, uh, you know, kind of balancing all this stuff and to some degree taking it all in stride. And when I say that, I don't mean to, uh, you know, criticize, you know, Canadian Pepper or uh, Full Spectrum Survival uh, for, you know, falling ill at the moment. And it seems like there has been a lot of pressure on those guys to kind of, um, you know, deal with this and get the information out to everybody. And, uh, you, know, you know, everybody has their own unique situations, but it's something we all have to kind of think about is... Um, you know, balancing all this stuff because you don't want to, uh, in your in your haste, to try to avoid dangers that you see uh, being out there. You don't want to create new dangers for yourself uh, by uh, you know your reaction to it, and, th and that is really why we do all the prepping that we do. Uh, it's because if you wait for things until the very last minute, there's a high degree of stress and a high degree of um, you know, need for stuff to get done, and that can really take a toll on your system. And the more that you can do this stuff early and spread it out over a larger period of time, uh, you know, the more relaxing all of it really uh, can feel for you. We, even if you're dealing with things like creating shelters of a uh, falling out variety over here, uh, you know, if you don't feel like you're under the gun and you only got 72 hours to take care of this thing, it can make, uh, it can make your time uh, dealing with these things a lot, a lot less deleterious to your health than it would be if you kind of wait till that, uh, you know, for, uh, 24 hours beforehand and you're dealing with everything ahead like that. So as we're moving between these two, uh, you know, storms, between the storm that began with C and the storm that uh, looks like it's going to begin with the letter U, uh, you know, take stock of the, the time that you have right now and try to take work out of your future. You know, you can't do anything about the past, but take work out of your future, things that you might have to do in the future, and, you know, manage some of that now so that you don't get to the point where you're really uh, burning the candles at both ends, burning, you know, running yourself ragged uh, at the very last minute with all sorts of things that, like, you know, this, this shelter of a falling out variety, I like that phrase, uh, that's behind me, uh, I, I don't suspect that I'm going to need to use that. I think that uh, if there is any reason for that being used anywhere in the world, it is probably going to be in places that aren't here. I think the chances of me needing that are very, very low. Uh, because of that, as I was putting it together, I made sure that all the stuff that I was doing had kind of some double benefits so that I, you know, I wouldn't be wasting my time either way. Um, but, but the fact that I have that means that if we ever get to that in what I hope and presume is a very small chance of needing that, I'm not in a situation where I'm going to be like existentially stressed out for myself and my family, for my boy, um, because we know that we've already taken care of that. So that's my message to you today is look into the future, look at anything that's going to be a pain in the ass in the future. And if you get some time right now, take some of that stuff into your present. Don't take the stress into your present. Don't, uh, don't carry that burden on your shoulders right now. But take some of that work out of your future. Deal with it today, and especially if those things are things that have double benefits for, uh, for you. Uh, for example, when I was doing uh, this project over here, adding extra dirt onto the top of it made it a better root cellar. Uh, adding uh, the, some padding on the floor made it a more comfortable root cellar. Uh, adding cl uh, climate controlled stuff in there makes it a better root cellar. Uh, adding uh, the ability to pump air manually into that uh, place, I made it large bellows in there. Uh, it gives me a cool bellows that I can do other pro other sorts of projects with, like, um, well, it's mostly for coolness, but I can, uh, you know, I'm thinking about maybe smelting metal, you know, you know, melting metal down, you know, using the bellows and stuff. So um, anything you can take out of your future, bring it into your present if you get some spare time, and especially if it's the kind of stuff that can add to the quality of your life now, why not do that? That's it. Thanks for watching. And in this video, because it's run and gun, you're going to see me go and turn off the camera.
Oh, I could just do the narration from here. I forget what my narration at the end is, but it's something along the lines of... I don't know. I say something like... What do I say? Something about if you like this channel, you can support it on Patreon. And that the content drops every Friday at 4.30 p.m. That's all I remember from it. I don't watch my own uh, rollout, usually. <laughs>